the family welcome back to my channel so this video was requested by a few moms wanting to know how i care for zuri's hair after a wash day routine how i style it how i keep up with her hair so as you can see her hair is currently in twist and her hair does look a little dry but her hair is actually not dry as you can see in her hair and in my hands it's actually locked in with the aloe vera and oil mixed in that's why i keep her hair in either twist or bantu knots and then i'll uh, style it the next day or the day after her hair is just a little dry at the top at the root because she likes to play a lot and roll, roll all over the place but i will show you guys how i style for her hair and keep her hair in a style that will last a few weeks so it'll be consider a protective style and i'll show you guys exactly what i'm doing so stay tuned Usually with the styles that I do um, on Zuri's hair, I work in smaller sections and I'll have smaller braids in her hair. But because she's getting older, she does not like me in her hair at all. So here you'll see me working in bigger sections. So there'll be three sections in the back of her hair with medium sized single braids. And the only thing with this style, it will last for about two weeks because her hair tends to frizz up really fast. <laughs> Versus the smaller single braids with the rubber bands, it lasts about a month and a half because it doesn't frizz up as fast and the product tends to lock in a little bit better with those braids. So as of now, I'm just doing the bigger section. So you can kind of also as well get the gist of how I do style her hair after a wash day routine so the products that i will be working with today is the mousse from african pride i love this product on her hair it's rose um water and then the other product that i'll be using as well is a curl cream it has flaxy seeds in there as well and it's a little thicker consistency and her hair does need that especially since she does have high porosity hair and her hair is thick thicker so these two products work really well together and the product that you also see that i am spraying on her hair before i um, apply the other products it's like a detangler it's um, good for when i'm trying to part her hair because her hair does tend to tangle a lot so this works out really well so forgot to mention i'm also using the indian hemp grease on her scalp as well and i always use this when i'm doing single braids on her hair to create these single braids as you can see i am doing the rubber band method and i like the rubber band method because it creates a smoother slicker look to her hair and just holds all of her hair in place and then i'll braid down and plus i have these nails on so when i try to grip her hair and braid her hair it just doesn't work and like i said the rubber band method creates a slicker look and it's not as frizzy like a day or two later if i don't use the rubber bands the only con i will say about the rubber band method and i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys can vouch for this it just creates a lot of build-up product at the root you know that you're you could kind of placing all the product just to give a sleek look and then you place in the rubber band and all of that product is wrapped around that rubber band so it creates a lot of build-up product and now you're probably like okay so why are you using it like i said it creates a slicker look and she's not gonna have this style in long so yeah, <laughs> but it's just a little bit longer for wash day. I have to wash your hair a couple times, but I wouldn't really recommend the rubber band method. But if you can grip and braid that, kudos to you. I am still learning. <laughs> so this is the type of style that works for me and what I have to do for now until I completely know how to braid her hair and have a frizz control <laughs> but just to kind of do a disclaimer and let you know and honestly let you know that rubber bands are not really the best but it does create a really cute style and the hair will last a little bit longer <laughs>
Usually when I do Zuri styles, I tend to think of styles that I'm going to do to her hair as I'm styling her hair. And I know some moms are like, okay, what? Yeah, <laughs> that's just how I go with the flow of her hair. I do like to look on Pinterest sometimes, but usually the styles that I create in my head as I'm going, it just comes out exactly how I want it. I'm like, oh, this is cute. I think I want to do this. And I just go with the flow. So the style that you're kind of seeing that I'm doing now, I'm doing it like a rubber band method. And then I'm just going to come down with a braid kind of coming to the sides of her hair. And you'll see exactly what I'm doing as this video continues to go on. So for this method, I'm going to create a um, flat twist with rubber bands. So I'm going to explain exactly what I'm doing. So as, as you can see, this piece of hair is already rubber band. So what I'm going to do is combine that piece with the second piece of hair with the rubber band and going so forth with the third piece of hair to create a flat twist. I know you can do a flat twist without the rubber bands, but for me, it makes it easier to use the rubber bands. So as I mentioned, you're just combining each of those pieces of hair and then twisting as well to create that twist and the rubber bands just kind of hold it in place so going with all of these clips you'll see exactly what I'm doing and I'm just going to do this on each side of her hair The same flat twist method that you've seen in the previous clip that I did on the side of her hair, I'm also applying that same method to this section of her hair, but it's instead of it going towards her face, it's going to the back of her hair. So flat twisting towards the back of her head. And I didn't show um, too much of me doing uh, doing this part of the section of her hair because my hand is so much in the camera and I did not notice it until afterwards and I started editing but you kind of get the gist of what I'm doing so I'm just basically parting each section of her hair to create that rubber band method and also that flat twist. As I mentioned that I do like to go with the flow with Zuri's hair and I think of ideas of what I like to do as I'm doing her hair and in that previous section you did see me braiding her hair but what I'm deciding to do now is just putting those braids in a bantu ball instead of having that down so you can see the rest of that style going on so I kind of thought about this and I thought it was pretty cute what do you think? <laughs> 
course, we have the Ab Bees, guys. It's an accessory to this style. It just brings out this style even more with these single braids. So as you can see, I'm placing the bees onto the bead needle. I'm thinking that's what it's called. And then on that little whole part of that needle, I place her hair in between and then push up those beads. And it's so easy. I did not know about this um, bead needle until I seen another YouTube video because I used to use um, a, don't judge me, I used to use a bobby pin and then do it that way. I don't know why, but yeah. <laughs> or I used to try to like put product at the ends of her hair and then slowly slide on each bead. And then my friend was like, you know, you can use a bead needle, right? And I was like, oh my God. And then I watched other videos and I'm like, it does come with the bee needle comes with certain beads, but yeah, that's a different story. <laughs> so I'm just adding on these accessories. It's very simple on how to use. As you can see for the finished touch, I'm applying mousse to her scalp just to add a little bit more shine to her hair. I did place the beads on her hair the next day after um, doing the single braids because I got a little tired. Because <laughs> with doing her hair, is just a lot and she doesn't like me on her hair too much. So it is the next day after applying the single braids and then I just applied the beads the next day. And I just wanted to place a little bit of mousse to get rid of that frizz and also add shine. Yeah.